We have got a lead screw off of a South Bend lathe that was sent to us by one of our long-term viewers named Jack. He said that this is a lathe that he recently acquired and he was thinking that the lead screw nut had a little bit too much backlash in it, a little bit too much play or wear. We'll go ahead and screw this on here and take a peek at it. The lead screw itself seems to be in pretty good condition. A lot of times what you'll see is in the center of these guys where it's most mostly used with the nut is that the threads are kind of thin right there. Let's see if we can get a little measurement on here and kind of see if we have a bunch of wear. It's really hard to, without getting in there with a, with a magnifying glass, it's kind of hard to see if you can measure right at the end of the, the thread right there. I know there's gonna be a little bit of wear right in here, but you can feel a little bit of play in that. But what he's, what he's asking me to do is find out why the, uh, the new nut, this guy right here that he purchased, I don't know where he got this, but I know there's guys out there that are making these kind of parts that you can buy. So anyway, the lead screw will not fit inside the new nut. Absolutely will not go in there, okay? So I measured it to see what size it is, and this is a 7 16 diameter lead screw, 10 threads per inch. Here we got our pitch gauge, and that'll line up. Let me see if I can hold it where you guys can see it here. So 10 threads per inch, it's lined up beautifully on there. So what you have is a 7 16 dash 10 left hand, because this is a left-handed thread. All right, and he had said, that he had bought a tap and ran it through there and it didn't clean it up. And the reason why is because the tap that he got is a 3 8 So not the correct size tap, 3 8 10 left hand, but this is not the right size tap. And you can see by, if we stick it in there, this is uh, the wrong size tap. All right, so that's not gonna that's not going to do the job of cleaning it up. We can tell that our thread pitch is the same. So the easiest thing to do is to have a tap and run it through this new nut to clean it up. Now why it's not to size, I don't know because I didn't make it. So what I did is I actually bought a 7 16 10 left-handed tap. This is the first time that I purchased a tap off of Amazon. And I did that because it was like $27, okay? I've never needed a 7 16 10 Acme tap until today, until this job right here. So I was a little bit worried about what kind of condition this thing was going to be in, what it would look like. But upon inspection, this is not a bad looking tap at all. It's supposed to be high speed steel, which is what you want. Some of these really cheap taps will may be made out of just regular uh, carbon steel and no good. You want high speed steel and it just, it has a, it just has a good look to it. You know, it looks like it's been like some quality was put into it. We'll check it with our thread pitch gauge and it looks like it's matching beautifully. So that it is 10 threads per inch. So let's, uh, let's go over to the bench and see if we can measure what the backlash in the original nut is and kind of get an idea how much play we have in there. Okay, we're set up in the bench here, just doing a very simple measurement to see about what kind of backlash we have inside our bronze lead screw nut. So we've got a dial set up. I've, now it depends on how this moves. You can see if you move it a little bit, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be going along that thread moving it. So we're trying to keep it about uh, there to zero. And if we push in on it or push out that direction, I've done this several times and I'm getting either 14 or 15 thousandths every time I move it. So we're pushing it, trying to push it all the way in um, that direction. Now we're trying to push it out towards your left and see we're getting about 15 thousandths that way. All right, so again, this isn't, 
100% accurate, but this does give us an idea that you have wear inside the lead screw nut. And I'm sure there's some wear in the, in the threads there as well. But this kind of gives us an idea about how much play we have or how much backlash you have inside the Acme nut. All right, so we're getting a what, about 14 or 15 thousandths play in there. That's really not too bad, but I, but I understand. It's got some wear in there, and when you have all this together and you're turning this hand wheel, you know, you want to try to clean up as much of that backlash as you can. I'm, I take, I've never worked on the South Bend lays, but I don't know if there's a way to take up the backlash in this. I don't think that there is. I think you just put it in there and this gets held in place right where it needs to go. All right, so what we'll do is just go ahead and take this tap and run it through this new nut, and hopefully that's going to clean it up to the point to where the new lead screw will actually thread down through there. It's already starting to get tight a little bit onto that tap. So I just hope that this is the, uh, the easiest solution to take care of this right there. All right, so we'll just set this up in a vise. We'll get us a, a tap wrench and run this tap down through that nut and then see if it actually screws on to the lead screw. I hope that if it does screw on, that it's not loose, that it actually fits the screw like it should. So let's see if we can make that happen. All right, we'll just clamp it right here in the, in the vise using our brass soft jaws. All right, and we're gonna use some anchor lube on the tap. This anchor lube works really good for tapping. I really love it for that, especially hand tapping and uh, power tapping in the mill. Works really good. Just give that a good coating. Let's see if we can get it started. There we go. And we'll use our stare at 96C tap wrench. And hopefully all we got to do is just run this tap through here, clean those threads up. It's definitely cutting. I think we're through. I think we're through with the cutting. And we just got to run it through there. It's always best if you can go all the way through and not back out these taps. Okay. Just like that. Definitely cut some material there. All right, we'll get this nut cleaned up and try it on the, the lead screw. All right, we just blow that out good, cleaned it, and let's see if it fits. Yep, it's screwing on there like it's supposed to. Got just a little bit of play on the, on the threads, but as far as your end play, it's got a good feel to it. Feels like it's fitting like it should. So I think that's gonna work pretty good. So got our new lead screw and then there's the old one right there. And for whatever reason, lead screw did not fit in this new nut. Just had to run a tap through there and clean up those threads. That's all it took, that's all they needed. So here's our little quick bench inspection with the new nut that we run the tap through. 
I don't think that there was a whole lot gained here. I know it's going to be better, but if you look and see, I've been trying to get it lined up on zero. And if we uh, just try to evenly back and forth, I was getting approximately six to seven thousandths. So it's not really consistent. So I think we kind of took the play that was in the old nut and cut it by half approximately. So it is some improvement, but I'm just not sure if it was really worth uh, replacing this or not, considering that it's still got six or seven thou in there. And that's based off of the, uh, the inexpensive tap there that we bought to uh, do that job. So just trying to help one of our viewers out, you know, this is just a simple little operation, uh, typically where you just need the correct tap to do this. And that's what we did. So we'll go ahead and get this boxed up and get it sent back up there to Jack.